A Big Brother's epic prank made national news when a school bus pulled up to his house. Sometimes parents just can't wait to send their teenage kids off to college. Finally, an end to intense sibling rivalry, arguments, roughhousing, and tranquility turned into chaos within seconds. Still, this is not always the case. And despite a significant age gap, 17-year-old Noah Tingle has an exceptionally close bond with his little brother, 12-year-old Max. So with further education soon to put physical distance between the best buddies, Noah decided that it was high time to create some unforgettable memories that both would cherish for years to come. Little did Noah know how famous he and Max would become as a result. While Noah and Max may be separated by a five-year age gap, neither of them allows this to get in the way of their close relationship. In fact, even their mom Stacy is amazed by just how strong the brother's bond truly is. In addition to getting along so well, Noah always wants to ensure that his brother succeeds with whatever goals he wishes to pursue. Noah pours into Max like he would want someone to do for him, Stacy explained. He wants Max to be the best he can be. Unfortunately, there was a major life event looming that potentially threatened this bond. As a senior in high school, this would be the last year that Noah would live in the same home as his brother before leaving for college. While this would put some distance between the two, Noah had an ingenious plan up his sleeve to help ensure that his bond with Max would remain a powerful one. In creating some truly unforgettable memories for his brother, Noah knew that he had to either go big or go home. After some deliberation, he came up with an ingenious ruse to greet his brother as he got off the school bus while wearing hilarious costumes. But how would his plan play out? Eager to start pranking his brother, Noah decided that there was no better time than to pull off his stunt on Max's first day of school. After recruiting his older sister to film the shenanigans, Noah got a hold of a sleeveless t-shirt which he then tucked into his tight shorts, a look that he knew his brother would find embarrassing. All that was left was for Max to arrive. As documented on the first of a series of video clips on Facebook, when the school bus approaches the house, Noah and his sister hurry to the front door to begin filming. As Max disembarks, Noah confidently struts outside, spreading his arms out as he greets his brother. Hilariously referring to his brother as son, Noah waves at the bus as it leaves, leaving Max speechless. While thoroughly embarrassed, Max struggles to contain his own laughter. But this is just day one. While Noah may have elicited a warm reaction for his prank, this was just the beginning. He wanted to do it the next day, Stacy recalled. Going forward, his mom joined in the fun, assuming recording responsibilities as Noah came up with more amusing ways to greet his brother as he arrived home from school. Soon enough, Noah began dressing up in more elaborate costumes that were sure to gain the attention of his brother, as well as the other kids on the bus. By recording each of these moments, Noah would provide himself and Max with memories that they could always look back on. Soon enough, the family created the Bus Brother Facebook page, where Noah's pranks rapidly started attracting attention. As time went on, Noah's costumes became ever more elaborate. Just some of his more zany outfits included a gorilla, bacon, and Santa Claus. Of course, these videos were also uploaded to his Facebook page, which soon began to rack up significant audience figures. With his Facebook page's numbers growing, Noah knew that he couldn't let his fans down. He continued performing this charming prank, not allowing any bad weather or other conditions to stand in his way. On one occasion, Noah steps outside to greet his brother in a Chewbacca costume, despite the heavy rain that is pouring down. But how exactly did Noah find all of his intriguing disguises? Clearly touched by Noah's efforts to make his brother laugh, the community decided to help Noah continue his pranks. Soon enough, community members began to donate costumes to Noah so that he could continue the act. The first couple of outfits or costumes I wore were things I just threw together from my closet, Noah explained. Soon, though, the online community's enthusiasm would help take the saga to another level. Over the next few weeks, Noah's outrageous costumes turned the heads of Facebook users nationwide, attracting a remarkable 13,000 followers for the Bus Brother Facebook page. Of course, all this unexpected attention had come as a surprise, starting out, Noah had no idea just what an internet sensation he and his brother would eventually become. But what did Max think of his brother's antics? In the clips, while Max may seem embarrassed at first, a smile immediately forms across his face as soon as he steps off the bus. On many occasions, the two brothers launch at each other, playfully chasing each other around the yard and roughhousing on the ground. 
Touching viewers' hearts with their bond, there's something genuinely engaging about these videos. These videos show Noah giving out a form of love and acceptance that most of us would love to experience on returning home, excited Max arguably represents the little kid in all of us. But while such themes clearly tug effectively on the heartstrings of viewers, it wasn't just Facebook users who were observing the Tingle brothers in their element. As Noah's Facebook page gained a bigger audience, the story also started earning offline news coverage, too. During Noah's 12th Welcome Home stunt, mom Stacy spotted a TV cameraman filming the event, one who worked for none other than NBC. And this was just the start of the brothers' media interest. Soon enough, other major news outlets also began covering the Tingle Brothers story. Along with the likes of CBS and Fox, Noah's pranks were even followed by international news stations, with people all over the world reaching out to the brothers in response. After receiving such a heartwarming reception, the brothers felt that they had to express their gratitude. After being spotted by a group of tourists while in Louisiana, it was clear that Noah's fame had begun to soar. Still, he and Max have done their utmost to remain grounded, including recording a thank you video to their fans who have supported them since the start. But what was next for Noah and Max? When interviewed about his rib-tickling pranks, Noah confirmed that he had every intention of continuing them over the next few months. The only break on his antics would come in November, when basketball season would start to restrict his free time. But even these constraints wouldn't stop Noah from spending quality time with Max. When the pandemic descended in 2020, life became challenging for families across the globe. But there was a silver lining for the Tingle family, Noah was able to come home and spend more time with his adoring brother. And naturally, with Noah at home, the fun would continue. Today, the boys remain as active as ever on social media, regularly posting about their endeavors, which include Noah getting his wisdom teeth removed, Christmas and Easter celebrations, and of course, more photo shoots in zany costumes. What's more, the boys are even active on TikTok. Noah and Max have done an exemplary job of melting fans' hearts with their brotherly love. Hopefully, they'll stay as close as ever.